Well, I've been adding some more roses, leaves, and also rosebuds. And everyone that I'd hear down is a step closer to this mosaic being finished. And yes, it's taking a while, but I'm getting there. Now up on screen now is the gazing ball after it had been just turned. And I had a friend come and give me a hand to actually turn this because as I've said in other videos, it is awkward to do it on your own. So if you can have someone give you a hand, it makes it a lot easier. Now before I go any further, I just wanna point out the difference between these two roses and these two roses. Now they're the same glass and these two are the same glass. The difference being is that I used epoxy sculpt to adhere this rose down and I used epoxy sculpt to adhere this rose down. Whereas these roses here are all adhered with white thin set. So what you use to adhere your glass down, especially in a situation like this, which is kind of semi-transparent glass, will make a difference to how your rose or your flowers are going to look. So this is part of the design and I really like how I have a different depth of glass or a different depth of rose compared to these ones here. It just adds further interest. So if you are going to be using a different colored adhesive, make sure you take that into consideration in designing your mosaic. Now what I'm going to do now is give you an overview of all the roses that I've put on so far. And I think it's turning out really quite good and I really like the colours I've used and I also like the depth of the different uh, roses because I've used those different uh, adhesives as well. So I think it's looking really quite good. Since the gazing ball was turned, I've been adding some more flowers. Now I have this area here where I need to add some more flowers before it needs turning again. Now if you want to stick around and uh, watch me adding some more flowers, then please do. If not, then I'll see you hopefully in the next video. So I'll get everything ready and then I'll start adhering some more down. Well, I'm going to be putting a pink rose here and a red rose there. Now the pink rose is slightly larger. So I'm going to be putting it on this area here because this is slightly flatter. And so it'll fit better here and the smaller rose going over here where the ball has its natural curve. So I think that'll look quite good. I'm using epoxy sculpt as my adhesive. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, because I use epoxy sculpt and this is semi-transparent glass, it'll darken the glass up and just give it a bit of extra depth. So I'll, I'm going to add two of these roses with epoxy sculpt and then I'm going to continue on uh, using thin set as my adhesive. And I'll only be able to go down to about here anyway because uh, otherwise I'll slide off. I I'm pretty well ready and I've got the epoxy sculpt mixed up here. And so I'll continue on and you'll be able to see that and I won't talk anymore while I do this because I've said it in other videos and then you can uh, just watch me if you choose to.
Well, all I need to do now is just clean up uh, the thin set that squeezed out from the edge of the pedals and of course clean the thin set off the surface there. I'm not going to clean the thin set off the surface of the pedals until tomorrow because I don't want to move uh, the pedals because uh, bumping them will not be good for the bonding to uh, the gazing ball. So I'll leave that until tomorrow. There's not much on the surface so that'll be fine. A little bit of a wet rag and, and a little bit of wiping and that thin set will come off quite easily as long as it's not caked onto the surface. And glass being smooth it'll come off really well but I will need to remove the thin set that squeezed out from the pedals because that will go rock hard and I won't be able to get that off too, too easy tomorrow. So the next update will be as I'm going towards the top here. Uh, it's pointless doing any more updates on this unless I'm showing you something a little bit different. I'm still deciding whether to put a, uh, a wisteria up the top there kind of hanging over, but I don't have to make that decision yet until I get towards the top there. So anyway, I hope you've taken something away from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a like. If you want to share the video, you're welcome to do so. If you have any comments, put them down in the bottom of the comments section. Everyone enjoys reading them, and I have been uh, too, so that's really good. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy. Enjoy.